hello. So one of the big tasks that Dan and I have for before baby is born is basically go through every room in our flat, every cupboard, every drawer, everywhere and do a massive clear out because basically in the three years we've lived here we've completely filled it out. There's not a lot of storage available and we need to make room for another human being who requires stuff apparently. So that's what's happening. It's the 2nd of January and step one is the kitchen. One moment, one shot. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in preparation for having a new housemate, which is kind of how I'm thinking about this, like you create space for them in the fridge, you give them a cupboard in the kitchen, and a drawer for their clothes and all of that kind of stuff. Dan and I have been clearing out this entire flat. We live in a two bedroom flat in London and we've lived here for about three years and we're about to have a baby. And so we need to create some space for said baby. Now I love decluttering and like organization videos. And so I wanted to document this entire process. It took place over three weekends. I am very proud of us actually for like getting it done in that time. And so yeah, that's what you're about to see us decluttering our entire flat. Enjoy. Part of the kitchen reorganization is that Dan has a plan for his spices. So currently all of our spices are in this cupboard here and it's very difficult to see. And so Dan has cleared out this drawer and this is gonna be the spice drawer. There's currently no plan for where the things that were in this drawer are going to go. But the most important thing is Dan's spices. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna look great. We'll be able to see all of the labels. Mm, how much paprika we have. I have been very helpful and made sure all of our Tupperware has matching lids. Kitchen is done. I think we probably tackled the, the hardest one first. Yeah. <laughs> but everything is like, there's just more space. So there's more potential for adding new things. So it all smells cupboards, very clean. All the cupboards got clean. Yeah, all the cupboards got clean as well, which is good. And on top of the cupboards. I'm, I'm counting today as an exercise day because I've been stood on my feet for hours and everything's hurting. I think the next biggest task is going to be the office. But we could do the other side of this room, the living room area is... Should yeah, be that should be pretty easy. Yeah. That's mostly organising board games. <laughs> Where do we put the board games? We're pretty successful. We've got some... We've increased visibility. That's in true. Do you want to show your increased visibility tins? Well, I think this will change just because we don't have any tins at the moment. Increased visibility <laughs> tins? Look, all along one line. Very successful. So we thought the kitchen was going to be the hardest room, but the next weekend we tackled the office and that definitely took the longest. In a familiar location, because today we are clearing out the office slash spare room slash gonna be baby's kind of room shared with Dan, because this is now Dan's office. It's a mess in here since I moved out into my own studio. But I don't have to worry about this room because it's Dan's office. Well, that's why you just keep dumping stuff in it. Yeah, so let me show you this chaos behind me. This used to be my clean and pristine filming corner. Now it is a dumping ground. But most of these things, like the games and stuff, came in here when we got the Christmas tree. So we can actually move these back out again, but we do need to figure out what we do with these at some point. These were left outside of our building, like someone was giving away some kids toys and clothes so we took them <laughs> so my job is to do this corner dan's job is to do his desk mm. and the shelves above it yeah for instance on the shelves 
We've got all of Dan's old vape stuff. Dan doesn't even vape anymore. This was where it all used to be because I made him a little sign saying Dan's vape station. <laughs> but yeah, there's just so much crap on these shelves that we need to sort out. This is the team I have. Nothing to see here. So the corner has been cleared. I mean, most of it is, <coughs> bless you, in the hallway. But now I can actually reach these shelves and start on these shelves. The bed is looking productive. It's looking good. Oh, <laughs> the dust is kicking my ass. Yeah. to figure out all of this and put it on here whilst leaving plenty of space for baby stuff storage. I don't even know how much space we're gonna need. I was pretty brutal with the amount of books that I'm getting rid of. I go through phases of wanting to keep every single book I've ever bought or read and have an eclectic library and then I will then go through a phase of like it doesn't matter like if I want to read it again then ebooks audiobooks charity shops and libraries exist but I'm in clearly one of those phases because I just got rid of a lot um, I do have some regrets over past clear outs like I'd wish I'd kept my copies of the Hunger Games series but they went a long time ago but I'm sad that I don't like have my original copies but it's fine do i intend to read them again anytime soon no anyway let's get books back on shelves in some sort of organized manner it's done Ooh, well just the bookshelves there's a lot more to sort out in this room but um there's plenty of extra space. I am finally, after many, many years, <laughs> getting rid of all of my lanyards from all of the like YouTube -y events I've been to. They have just been hanging up in here for years. It's time. Dan's very happy about it. Yep. <laughs> so Dan had the idea of sorting out our board game situation and basically filling <laughs> all of the gaps in these shelves with board games from the living room and that's Freed up a lot of space in the living room now. I got rid of my Hufflepuff poster. Dan's mad about it because he hates an empty frame. <laughs> Dan's office. <laughs> I love it. And then on our final big weekend declutter, we did all of the other rooms in the flat. And please excuse the flashing light in our ensuite bathroom. We know about it and it is on our endless to-do list to fix but it does kind of look a bit creepy. We've taken a couple of weekends off our declutter, but we are back on it today. And actually we're gonna try and finish it today. I made a list, obviously. We've got living room, we need to sort out mustards unit, TV unit under the sofa, bathroom, shelf, under the sink, storage drawers, the bedroom, uh, clothes, bedside drawers, under the bed, ensuite, shelf, under the sink, hallway, cupboard, hallway unit, coat rack, balcony, just like random shit. And yeah, and I think I'm gonna start on the ensuite because Dan's just got out of the shower um, and I wanna perv on him whilst I tidy. You all right, love? Mm -hmm. This drawer is mostly filled with my stoma stuff, but I have not organized this or looked through it since we moved in. So we tackle this situation. Does anyone need some pregnancy tests? I'm feeling so wider. It's 4 a.m. I'm not even tired. We're in your car. That is much better. I kept all of my positive 
pregnancy tests. But I think I'm gonna throw these away now. <laughs> I'm just surrounded by piles of my underwear and I have no idea how to decide what to get rid of because obviously most of my bras do not fit me right now and like will they ever fit me again and like some of my underwear I'm like sentimentally attached to because they're like sets and they're the ones that I like wore in these photos and I'm like <laughs> do I keep them even if the bras don't fit me anymore bedroom is done. I was weak and I kept my matching sets and Dan has been doing bits of the living room and it looks like all that's left is my like fancy dress <laughs> section that you're like what do I do with this? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I keep my Christmas things because they come out every year and then I've also got my like my hen party like bride to be stuff in there. TV unit is done and more storage has been created for when eventually our flat is filled with baby stuff. All of the stuff that we kept is in here. Lots of room for things and then empty, ready to be filled. Now we tackle this bathroom. What do you want to do with my coil, Dan? I don't know. You're the one who's insisted on keeping it. I don't know why it's still there. I love it. I am gonna keep it. Maybe I bring it to the office. Maybe it's, maybe I put it in, yeah. in the office. We had the dicks open, the, the guest bathroom, and it now, this is what it looks like now. It's been well used. used. <laughs> So all of our shit goes in our bathroom. So this is the interesting thing. All of this stuff is Hannah's. Literally all of it. Same for all the stuff in these drawers as well. Well, canvas bags, but a million hats of Hannah's. Are you vlogging? <laughs> <laughs> cool. And Hannah's drawer of shame. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty much that, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know what's in so, like anything you don't know what to do with, it goes in that drawer. Yeah, pretty much. The drawer of shame is a lot less shameful now. <laughs> Ta da! Look at that. We did it. And this is the aftermath. Honestly, don't even know where fucking all that stuff was. And it's not even all of it because a few people have already come round to like grab stuff and pick stuff up and take stuff home with them. So, yeah. Oh my god. But we've got loads of space now. Like in the spare bathroom, basically this entire shelf is empty. And also this whole drawer is like pretty much empty. There's just so much empty stuff. We have so much space for activities. For baby activities. We're ready to fill everything back up again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this big declutter video. We still have a hallway full of stuff, but gradually friends and family have been coming over to rummage through our stash. And then we have given them a deadline of when the stuff is going to go by. And very soon, very soon, we will have a clear hallway, but not for long again, because then once the hallway is clear, we are on mission by baby stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.